What's up boys? Welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you and I'm going to speak about the most overpowered or the most OP players in the game that you need to buy them. So guys, I'm going to show you and speak about, about players that I've used them, tried them, or plays, played against, or heard about them in general. We're going to speak about like players cheap in the middle tier and top tier cards. So we're gonna, I'm going to go off with every single position and give my opinion. Now, if I don't speak or hate on a card, that doesn't mean it's not suitable for you probably I'll hate a card and this same card will be a very good one and a big addition for your team. So let's start with goalkeepers. Now you know that goalkeepers are very OP in this game, uh, but there are some, there are some that are uh, very good. So the top tier that I've placed against or with are Courtois, I love him so much, Donnarumma and Alisson. So those guys I came against play them in draft like or use them and I love them so much so if you, like one is in the Premier League the other one is League 1 and one in La Liga so we have the option my goalkeeper that I that I use for my team is uh, Courtois not Courtois is uh, Lloris and he's actually pretty fine man like I don't have any problem with him although I think Lloris is short for a goalkeeper but look I played 106 game with him holy shit 106 games already okay okay and i don't have any problems with him so you can go with this option too now moving on on the right back position my my right back for my team it's quadrado man like quadrado is awesome he's amazing like he's one of the best right backs that i've used because of his pace and the dribbling the five star skill moves the three star weak foot he's an amazing right back man but it's not the only option. Now, uh, the other guy that is very good is Hakimi. If you didn't use Hakimi, he's very good, man. Like he's one of the most expensive right back, I'm gonna say like a gold card, and as a wants to watch, because he's a, he has that 95 pace, you can put a Sentinel on him and he will be such an amazing card. So if you didn't use Hakimi, try it out. Another option that I'm going to speak about is Jesus Navas. I I had in the beginning of the game the 84 the yeah 84 version and he was really good. Like ignore the 58 physical, but in general this card, the inform card, was amazing. And that shows why on the market he was like 25k and right now he's like around 80k because he is very good. He gives the link and he's in uh, La Liga. So this is another option too. Now Cancelo, I think there are there are people I think that he's slow, he's not that good. So he needs an upgrade. And uh, I don't know about this new card, Traude, I didn't use him. So my three best right backs are Hakimi, Jesus Navas and Cuadrado. Moving on of the center backs. Now, for me, the best center backs that I've used, the most overpowered, for like 15k is Kunde man. Kunde is such a guy. He is a vibe man. I had him for my team and he is such an amazing guy. And he's around like 16k, 15k. Very cheap option, but very overpowered. If you didn't use him, I'm gonna tell you guys, try this card out. He is an amazing card. Now, someone that is very similar, but a little bit stronger is Kim Pembe. Kim Pepe, I picked him up for 42k and I played 100 games with him and he is amazing guys. And right now he's around like 70k I think. And again, that's a very very good option. Now, other options are uh, Rudiger, uh, who I have him, I don't know his price right now, maybe like 2000, yeah. He's very cheap man, but he's very solid. Now, if you want to move to the upper side, to the to the big guys, now I'm gonna, I'm not going to talk about Maldini and those guys because they're always good. Uh, Marquinhos, Marquinhos, his gold card was amazing. I didn't pick this card. I didn't have the chance to use him, 
but if his gold core was amazing there is no doubt that the 89 version will be as good as the gold card another option is van dyke van dyke all the pros are telling that he is the best center back in the game uh koulibaly i've played against he's very solid he's very good and actually guys wait i'm gonna move on my camera just right here so you can see my uh screen uh, yeah so uh other than that baresi i use him don't try this card he's, he's awful so don't use baresi uh other than that delict i didn't use him they uh cordoba yeah cordoba is another option like if you want uh an expensive card everyone telling that cordoba is very good uh and my final option is veran veran you know guys he's every single year he is the card that everyone uses he's the card that everyone wants and this year i think the best gold cards uh, are Veran and van dyke after that for me are kunde and kimpembe uh, marquinhos 2 is a big uh, option and i think those are like the five or six center backs that you need to use so i gave you option from to, from 15k up to like 300k uh, now the left back position i tried roberto carlos he's good he's really good but he's 600k so forget about that boys uh on this list i don't have someone uh good now i'm going to talk about two or three left yeah three left backs first is tio hernandez tio hernandez is awesome and i think uh he got an inform uh and that version is really good too the other option is mandy i tried this card out and he is the mandy of every single year he's very good very solid and a very good option and the last left back i want to talk about is davies oh i have four actually four uh davies is not option he's such a beast man such a beast and he can run down the wing like he can do everything for you and the left back that i use for my main team and i have no issues with him is serginio dust where are you my guy where, where, where are you you're here i picked this card for like 20k I played with him 70 games and no issues. He's very solid, very good card, and a very good option as a La Liga left back. So these are my uh, defender. So let's move to the winger slash midfielder. Now, the first midfielder that I have in my team uh, is where you are, my guy, Vinny J. Vinny J is like such a good card, such a good card. I picked this card for 240k and right now he's around like 340k because he's that good he's been rising up 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 in value in value and for me you, know, you can play this card as your left wing but i'm utilizing as my striker because he has such a good dribbling and such a good pace that even though he will not score every single shot but because he has that high of a pace and dribbling that he will convert most of the shots now uh let's see another option as a left mid uh let's put a concept obviously you have son son is again a very solid card but don't use son as your left mid but use him more as your striker i i am not the guy that will use son as my left mid but i use striker common and rashford are amazing too i tried rashford and down the wing he's very solid very rapid and he has a very strong physical presence diaz i have him i was uh, lucky to back him and either super sub he's amazing guys i don't know like here there is not nothing not an option and carrasco is solid too but i think we're off with carrasco carrasco i used him like the first week and i think that was it so if you have like a starter squad consider carrasco but if your squad is good like take him off now the right mid slash right wing position uh sancho i used him i didn't like him he, he was like as a right mid he, he's very slow uh sane to be honest i didn't use him rafinha they're telling me he's good like most of the people that are, uh, are using him they're telling he's good but i don't see as a right mid someone that is standing out or i played against played with um yeah no one actually let's see right wing 
Now, I was lucky. I'm lucky in this game, man. I, I'm lucky. I was lucky to pack Rafinha. Is it name? No, not Rafinha. What was his name? I don't know. I'll show you, man. But let's start off with our right wing. Man, Messi is one of the best cards in this game. I've played with Messi and against Messi. His dribbling capabilities are insane. So Messi, highly recommended card. Another card is Salah. His gold card or inform card is such a vibe, man. Down the wing or as a striker, like he is very solid. So you can try him out. Now, Gabriel Jesus, I tried him, but I don't know. I didn't enjoy him much. Like he was good. He was not bad. But for 200k with that 3 star weak foot, I don't know, like he, not, like, he has nothing wrong, he's good, but he was like an average card. Now I packed this card, yeah, not Rafinha, Rodrigo. Rodrigo is very solid, down the wing and as um, a striker. Now to be honest, as a striker, I didn't use him, but look, the stats that I have with him, where you are, the stats that I have, he's a right forward for me. Uh, right forward okay yeah so I played five games two goal and four assists as a winger guys don't forget about it as a winger so very good option and he has the potential to have two upgrades so he has the potential to go to 87 uh, Rodrigo is very very good Felipe Anderson too I picked this card for 24k so excuse me for that I have an electricity cut so if you don't know my my country uh, the electricity goes off and comes in and uh, it's a mess man so my squad I was kicked off from ultimate team and my uh, the players that I put in are gone so I was talking about the right wings if I'm not mistaken uh, yeah I talked about Messi, Salah uh, other options are as I said Felipe Anderson is a good one and Dembele Dembele is a good one but I don't think he's good as like uh, a striker because he has that low finishing but uh, you can you can try him out but he has a low finishing 75 although although I have Vinny who has the same amount of uh, finishing but he is really good now moving on to the midfielder let's start with the CDM and the CDM for me the best is N'Golo Gante N'Golo N'Golo Gante oh I forgot to do that Kimpembe Okay. Uh, now that we did that so Kante is uh, the best option and you can tell by the price man before like when the game released he was like 370k and right now he's 520k he's been rising every single day uh, and with with you know the supply so that's a very good option and the best option other than that, Cassia, if you have a Serie A team, is a very good one. He's very solid, very strong, and good in interceptions. Uh, Locatelli, don't go near him. Uh, Zakaria, I, th I think I played him in a draft, and he was, he was good, not bad. Other than that, I don't think I have uh, much options here. Now, moving on to the center mids. De Bruyne is very solid. Like, if you have a Prem team, like an attacking player and who can help defensively he's very good uh and i tried icons i tried chavi chavi was super amazing super duper amazing so if you want an icon that can go forward attack for you is chavi other option is de young de young is again another year another solid version for him uh i have Llorente in my in my squad he's playing as my main cdm and I can tell you that this is a very good card. He's tall, his foot are long, and as a CDM, he's doing the job. He can go forward, he can attack, and I think that this card is causing a lot of pain, I can say pain to my opponent's uh, part, you know? Now, Pogba, I've used him, but didn't enjoy him much. I don't know what, what's off with Pogba, but did not enjoy him. Uh, another card that's very solid is Barella. Again, I have him in my squad. And you know what's unique with Barella is that 93 agility and 92 balance. That in the midfield with that high interception of 88 is super amazing. Like you can move forward, go back forward with Barella, attack, pass the ball, defend, physical, and 
with that 90 stamina this card is no joke man if this card gets one or two upgrades again he will be amazing i'm not going to talk about holy and diara because you all know that they're uh, they're insane Wijnaldum, not a big fan of him and other than that too many they're speaking about him i tried him he's good not not that bad but nothing major uh let's move to the camp position as a camp um money i'm gonna speak about him but yeah let's speak about money money is amazing guys uh i tried money he's another player that you're gonna consider in your list as a winger and as a striker because of that high uh pace high agility high balance you can score some amazing pretty goals with him. Now, Bruno Fernandes, I tried him. Not a fan of him. To be honest, I'm not a fan of Bruno Fernandes. He's not he's not that good, you know. I don't know. There's something off with this card. And that's the reason why he was like 150k and went down to right now like 80k, 90k. Whereas Kante, Barella, Llorente, they're moving up in price. There is a reason for that. Fekir, I'm yet to complete him, didn't try him, they're telling he's good, not that bad. Other than that, boys, Nkunku is a shout, Nkunku is a shout, and nothing else. I don't see anyone that's good, I use him or uh, he is good. Is there any center forward? I think there is Benzema, yeah, uh, Benz, yeah, big boy, Kareem the Dream, man, Kareem the Dream. Uh, Kareem the Dream is solid. Now, not my type, not my type of player because he's very slow, but I, I've seen players that he, they're using him, but not my type. I've used Delpy and he's an amazing as a camp, as a striker. Uh, Depay, not that good, to be honest. And now, Dybala, Dybala, man. Dybala is an amazing card. He is the cheap Messi. I can confirm that he is a cheap Messi. I got this card. I play like 50 games. And you know why? Because he has a 92 agility with 94 balance and good uh, shooting. I wish he has like 4 star Rickford, but unfortunately he doesn't have. So Dybala is another good player to add to your list. Now, let's move finally to the striker position. Now, I'm going to tell you that Ronaldo and Mbappe are the deal. Mbappe is the best striker in the game, I can tell you. And Ronaldo comes after him. Uh, Lewa, he is very slow. Uh, other than that, Kane and Suarez will not recommend them. Lukaku was good, but I think Lukaku's time has passed away because we moved we're a month in, in into the game. And uh, it, it, now it's not that... Like he's not the guy right now. Now Di Natale, I was uh, I picked him up in the draft, and he was really good. But I don't think he's worth 1.2 million coins. Now I know that the stats are amazing. He's amazing as a card, and he gives the strong links. But I don't think that 1.2 million coins is is uh, worth it for this card. Uh, other strikers that I'm going to speak about is, 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 uh, I don't know. Aubameyang is a good super sub. You can try it out. Uh, ben Yedder would, would not recommend, although he has a five star weak fit, but he's well, uh, he's, he's like, he's slow. So I think those are the card. And finally, guys, I'll Neymar, you know, Neymar is again this year he's very good very solid very good as a winger and as a striker uh and a very good option too uh pedro i came i came against him but I, he didn't perform uh good against me and other than that really don't go near him lozano lozano uh very pacey card very good card insini as well Insignia is a very good option in the Serie A for like cheap card, 10k, 5k around that. And that's it boys. So those are the cards that I was, uh, you, you need to buy them, you need to try them. Overpowered, very solid card. And if you can fit like six or seven of them in your team, you will have a very overpowered, uh, you know, team. Most of them I've used them, the majority of them I've used them and they're very, very solid. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on another video, man. Peace.